And now, Silicon Angle TV and Wikibon.org present a Focus Spotlight. Live from Las Vegas at VMworld 2011, host John Furrier and Dave Valente illuminating VMware integration with support from EMC, where cloud meets big data. Okay, we're back. This is Dave Vellante. We are live, VMworld 2011. I'm with Wikibon.org, and this is our coverage, SiliconAngle.tv's coverage of VMworld 2011. And I'm here with Rick King of Kindred Healthcare. And uh, Rick is an IT practitioner. We're going to talk, Rick, about uh, virtualization, your, your journey. This is the uh, VMware integration spotlight. Um, you know, my first uh, VMworld a few years ago, it was pretty obvious that storage was a real pain point. And uh, VMware's announced a bunch of APIs, they put them out there to the community, the storage vendors have been hard at work, trying to you know, integrate it, make storage a little less painful for guys like you, but um, I want to talk about that, but first, why don't you tell us about what you do at uh, Kindred Health uh, Care, and uh, then we'll get into it. All right, um, at Kindred we have, uh, uh, our server environment consists of approximately 1,300 servers. Um, right now we have about 300 of them virtualized in production. Uh, we're running a virtual desktop infrastructure of about 450 virtual desktops right now. Um, have about 300 uh, dev and QA servers virtualized as well. <clears throat> we're on a mission to virtualize the entire data center. We started uh, production our, uh, virtualizing our production infrastructure this year, we'll be continuing on through next year. You said you had 1,300 servers? 1,300 servers total. And then how many are virtualized? About 370, 370. actually. 370, okay, so you're you're well on the way, but yeah. you've got a ways to go, right? And, you, and your goal is to get to? All of them. 100%? 100%. How about the application portfolio? Uh, how? What percent of your apps are virtualized? Um, it's kind of hard to put a number on the percentage of apps. Yeah, okay. We have virtualized. More than uh, half or less than half? Uh, Less than half. Less than half, okay. So, yeah, of course, less than half your servers. And right, they, right, they don't all do run you have the same one dedicated app. Do you have the same objective for apps, get to close to 100%? Or? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I mean, um, in fact, our current directive is to virtualize everything. Every, anything new will be virtualized unless there's uh, some compelling reason not to. And that would be obviously some kind of hardware requirement or hard, hardware tied to the application. Yeah, or the ISV is being a pain in the neck about it and um, jacking prices or uh, threatening your children. Or, no, no. Uh, ISVs don't do that? We don't <laughs> tend to let them do that. You don't let them do that? No. <laughs> you got to get them in a room, headlock? <laughs> <laughs> it's, they, don't, they don't, in my experience, they haven't ever made a valid uh, argument other than they're uncomfortable. Are you not an Oracle shop? We are not at all. Ah, that therein lies the uh, the answer. Okay. Uh, we have had we a couple. We always have fun with We have had a couple vendors um, <laughs> push back on us for yeah. virtualization just because they're they weren't comfortable with it themselves. Right. And some of our vendors uh, tend to be a little bit behind. So, Rick, let's talk a little bit about um, how long you've been with Kindred. Uh, I've been with Kindred for ten years. Ten years. Okay. So um, you've seen the whole virtualization phenomenon. You know, take take the world by storm. It's really, it's, it's really been a, a, a change agent. It ha it's had to have changed your IT life, your, your professional life. Uh, how so? Um, well, to a large degree, it's made it easier. Um, we've, we've realized a lot of uh, stability since we virtualized. Uh, we're able to lay down consistent configurations of uh, our server infrastructure. Um, we're able to move machines around as needed to make adjustments to our physical infrastructure. Um, we've picked up performance. Uh, we've gained, a, uh, made a lot of gains of performance. Because when we virtualize the machines, our, our virtual infrastructure is, is the um, latest, latest, greatest hardware. So at any time we virtualize a machine, we tend to pick up, uh, pick those machines up of, off of older hardware onto the newer virtualization landscape and then in the process we gain a lot of performance. So let's talk about storage a little bit. Um, storage is a challenge, as I said. I mean, you know that better than I. Um, first of all, why, why is it such a challenge in a, in a virtualized environment? Uh, a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of machines contending for the same I.O. or I.O. on the same disks. Um, we use EMC uh, Clarion storage primarily in our 
on our virtualization landscape. Um, we're in the process of transitioning to VMAX storage. Really? Um, so are you 100% EMC shop? Or 100% EMC. Okay. Um, have you always been 100% EMC shop? Or? Uh, we've been EMC since I've been with Kendall. Okay. Um, and you, in, you're going from Clarion to VMAX? Yeah, we're running on a Clarion CX4 with FastVP right now. We have uh, this, the VMAX storage. Um, I believe we do have some uh, physical database servers running on uh, the VMAX right now, but we're going to start transitioning some of our tier one apps over to that storage. It, it's at, they're actually in process, in process of doing that right now. How's FastVP working for you? Is that uh, lived up to your expectations? Or? From my perspective, it does. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What's it do for you? How's it? How has that, you know, affected your business? Um, well, we're running our SAP BW systems virtualized on ESX um, with the Clarion, with, with that storage as the back end, the FastVP. And uh, we actually picked up a 300% performance increase when we moved to that, to that environment from our legacy uh, hardware. So um, is, is SAP you know, one of your primary? SAP your, is your our app? primary financial application. Yeah. Uh, we also run uh, Meditech as a hospital billing system. Yeah, yeah I'm familiar with it. Yeah. And um, we it's have the gold standard in that business, yeah, right? It is. Uh, well, it's yes, I guess it's it's yeah, widely well, used. Um, uh, it's, yeah, it's widely used. It's, yeah, I mean, we, we <laughs> there's a lot of stuff in Meditech these yeah, days. Yeah, yeah, there is. There it's, is. <laughs> it's been um, around for a while. Our we we have over 150 Meditech servers, and they are all virtualized. So we virtualize the entire environment. Actually, we virtualize that environment this year. So how, um, how much have you, as a practitioner, paid attention to all the activity that's been going on um, between, say, VMware and its uh, uh, storage suppliers or storage partners with regard to um, uh, integration, APIs, VAI, backup, VADP, things of that nature? Have, have you, do you, as, a, as an IT practitioner, follow that stuff, or do you just pretty much leave that to the, to the vendors to sort it out? Um, we do follow it. Um. We're at a little bit of a disadvantage right now internally because we, we have not been able to uh, take advantage of VSXI to this point. Um, and that's just just because we haven't been able to get to it this year. Uh, this year and last year, we focused primarily on upgrading our infrastructure to support virtualization. Um, next year, we're going to focus on um, uh, some backup solutions, obviously, to back up the virtual, the virtual machines themselves as images. Um, uh, we're still using our legacy backup software, so that's kind of our that's kind of our uh, stumbling block right now. Is um, with the lack of the service console, we have to find a new way to handle uh, the, the VMDK backups. Uh, so we are paying attention to that because we're trying to we're trying to make sure that everything we use as bolt-on tools. Um, can hook into those APIs, and uh, we like the fact that the uh, that VMware is integrating with the storage APIs and, and things like that. Okay, so um, so you you you're just really starting to get into how that's going to affect your business and how to take advantage of it, right? Yes. Well, let me ask you the last question I have is, what do you want out of it? What do you what do you want from your your EMC is your primary supplier? What do you want out of those guys in terms of uh, VMware storage and storage integration? What are you looking for there? Um, speed. <laughs> uh, what do you we, mean by speed? You speed mean, uh, we need, uh, we need application to be performance, or do you mean no, um, speed to deployment? Or? Um, we, we we really don't. At th at this point, we're not suffering um, I/O performance on the storage infrastructure. Um, what we need to be able to do is is move is is uh, storage vMotion a little a little bit faster. Uh, kind of move move the VMs around from uh, from from one one spot in the storage to the other. Uh, uh, replication, uh, really, uh, replication, I guess, is a, is a big a big focus for us because okay. we're looking for disaster recovery opportunities to be able to uh, replicate machines offsite. Kind of change the way we look at doing our backups. Right now, we still have a legacy tape backup system that we're trying. We're, Take tapes offsite. I guess what uh, what I'd like to see is uh, the ability to 
just shuffle the machines off site, get that storage to move faster, compression maybe, some mm -hmm. dedupe. Okay, good. Um, having a good time in Vegas? I mean, all work, no play, right? <laughs> uh, I'm not going to say no play, but a lot of work. Uh, Rick King, uh, thank you very much for coming on theCUBE and sharing your uh, experiences at Kindred Healthcare. And uh, 